I'm curious what uh, with the show. What was your guys' like favorite parts, like funniest moments, shit like that? Well, first of all, if coming from the English Love Island, and that first season of the American Love Island was doo doo. Yeah, that shit was Straight trash. Dookie. And I have to bring us up a little bit. The dude at C- one of the dudes at CBS who was a uh, part of the buying process to license out Love Island mm-hmm. to uh, CBS. He caught Cody and I getting breakfast one day, and <clears throat> we we played the Love Island game on YouTube for a little while. And he goes, "Man, I think you guys helped get people to understand what Love Island is." You know. I, I'm I'm certain of it. I think it's because of you guys we were able to bring Love Island over to the States. And we were like, cool, involve us, and they just never did. Which was which was whack. No, we were That's gonna weird. fly out <laughs> weren't we gonna, weren't they, gonna they, fly they, out they tried to, to make Africa a couple things like worth. Yeah, so that was one thing they wanted to do. They actually for the English like half season when they shot it in uh, South Africa, they were gonna have us go there and film there, but because of COVID they said nah. Or no, maybe we were touring. It might have been both. Either way. So we are never really able to make anything happen. So I think, at least for me personally, I became jaded with the show. Because I'm like, man, we put in all this love and you guys dick us around. Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, when, so when this season came out, you know, because of COVID, I'm like, I guess we'll watch it. And for, for me, I, I was blown away by how good it was. And I think they painted you in such a way. I think they made people hate you at the front but they knew they were like oh this guy we're gonna take him to the end and he's gonna fucking so you know i candidly i think you were one of the best characters on the show just there was i saw a meme that was like i was on the love island reddit (laughs) (laughs) i just i just found out what it it was and uh, i went on it and there was a meme that said the villain, and it was a picture of you. And then it was like the real villain, and it was a picture of Johnny. <laughs> or it was like the TV villain. It was like the TV villain, and it was you. Or then it was like the real villain, and it was Johnny. And I thought that yeah. was pretty funny. No, that's, that's fucking... Yeah, when I was in there, so when new people come in, they, uh, they kind of get a glimpse of what's going on at first to give them like a head start, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I talked to... I got along with pretty much fucking everybody. I'd say the one person... I didn't really was just Caitlin and that's just because she was there for like two days. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Um, they, they would come in and they would all kind of like at first just be a little weird towards me. I'm like, where's this resentment coming from? Oh. But it's because they saw shit I haven't, you know what I mean? So they probably think I'm a scumbag. And then we just all became way good friends. So when they all left the show, they'd go on podcasts and like the ass of the Island YouTube thing or whatever. And, uh, they all just say good things, so I think that all saved my ass. Because if they Word. didn't, then people yeah. would just be like, "All I see is this." Yeah, this guy fucking sucks. So, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you do think they cut you like a little bit bad? Yeah, I've never, I've never been one to say it. Like everyone else has said it for me, because I'm not trying to be a bitch about it. But at the end of the day, because you, uh, like, you, you never sure, been on TV yeah. before this, right? No, this is my first time. Yeah, had you had you ever done anything like really on camera before? No. <clears throat> no i mean that's 100 percent it you've never done it so you're just you're just being genuine like they ask you a question yeah. you're just shooting answers and that <laughs> shit right, producer uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera, like, yeah. They're, like, they're like who do you like the least here and you're like oh cool i'll answer that yeah <laughs> perfect straight up no i i was way honest just because like there were times i talked around the point but i did not want to get caught lying on tv i was like that's sure. like a scumbag move so i was just pretty honest about shit I just try not to be in a situation where I had to be honest about like a certain person or this or that, you know what I mean? Bro, I think that highlights a weird thing about Americans where I feel in America we put so much emphasis on uh, other people's feelings. Like you should have sensitivity towards other people's feelings. Yeah. We, we, were, we were talking to some English people and they were saying they hated working with Americans because they could go in. I think I was actually talking to one of Alina's cousins and he said – he hates dealing with Americans because he'll pitch something or he'll have a meeting and they're all smiles, but he knows as soon as the door closes, Americans are like, we're not fucking working with that guy. That guy was a fucking <laughs> dickhead. And so I feel there was this expectation on you. I mean, I was guilty of it, of being like, oh, Carrington shouldn't be that blunt with people and he should be more sensitive to how they, blah, blah, blah. but in the end, you, you, were, you were right. Like you had to be that way. But, Although, yeah. and here's, here's another thing is that, that's kind of what Love Island was about 
from the get go, at least mm-hmm. on the British version. It's yeah, about yeah. like backstabbing and hooking up with people, and mm-hmm. like yeah. that was kind of the fun of the show mm-hmm. in the beginning, right? It wasn't really mm-hmm. about like the long term relationships that blossom. Nah. Am I am I wrong? I think that's right. No, no it, and is. it was more about like just <clears throat> people like having fun. Like it was more kind of like the real world, I guess, or something like that. Have you yeah. um, where it wasn't actually about finding love, but now nah. the American version, like I feel like America is so like just bachelor and bachelorette, and that's all we've known for so long that people crave like the oh they want like the uh you know like the like the marriage that comes out of this i want like yeah, the, yeah. and so yeah. like you said it's like it's supposed to be a dating show but then all of a sudden like yeah, you, you, you date a couple villainized. people and people were like fuck you this guy's a scumbag yeah no and straight up so when i was going on everyone always like nobody wants to be and I wouldn't even say I was in a negative light. I really wouldn't. Like, yeah, I talked around, but at the end of it, I think I came out. I was happy with how I was shown. Um, but when I was going in, of course, in my mind, it's like, all right, like, you know, be the sweetheart guy, blah, blah, blah. Everyone thinks that. And then you get in there and shit just changes. And you're kind of like, do I want to fake things for the money? Or do I want to mm. actually get to know this girl? Say this girl's like up my alley or she's not. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to talk to her and get to know her just because who knows if we do like each other and if not i'll move on but yeah i went in there and very fast i was like i can't fake this just for the money like i'm just gonna be real and i feel like it's been a while since and maybe i'm wrong on a show like this where people haven't necessarily just played the game to get to the finals like i put myself in the position to go home many times from just being honest and that's what i think saved me so yep 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 no i i think uh no, 100%. I think you played it in a lot of ways that most people would not have the comfort of doing. I think most people no. would default to, you know, <clears throat> that's why, what's her name? What, was she English? or She was English, Oh, right? Lauren. Lauren. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, th- I, I think, whatever. I mean, I understood <laughs> why she got annoyed when she left because she's kind of saying what you're saying. She's like, oh, this, like, none of you guys even tried, you know? Like, yeah. all of you want to be coupled in a <laughs> Oh damn! I forgot so, about her. Yeah, she yeah, got so pissed. Was, <laughs> damn. That was uh, she was that was so unexpected. And, and when I watched it back, I didn't even, I didn't even know she did the same thing in the girls' room. They're like helping her pack her bag. She's like, it's like get off so me, fucking yeah. fake. Yeah, you're all you're all so fucking fake. And I was like, what? I was like, what? <laughs> she just said that to your faces. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so. <sighs> You, you, you think you're going to make the move out here or are you just going to post in Salt Lake until... Can you guys hear that? I'm sorry. Is that shit? No, like, no. We can barely hear it. All can right, you don't. guys hear me with these? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, have like the, I don't got like the big, nice dildos fucking mics. I got these little shit out. <laughs> Whoa. So, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I don't got are... that thing to suck on over there <laughs> yeah, like you <laughs> nerds. Like you fucking Reddit dorks <laughs> over there with your blowjob over there. What are you deep throating your mics? For? What? No. Dude, I fucking, I love that we're talking. I've watched you guys for so fucking long that when I clicked the video and saw my face, I was like, God damn. What did you, like, you oh, think way. when Noel said you were a fish with teeth? A fish with teeth. <laughs> Bro, when I, I, well, when I saw that, I was just like, okay, let's see where it goes. And it kind of ended. And I was like, because oh. some people get like 15 minute videos about them. You know what I mean? Like the dough yeah, yeah. The dough <laughs> guys, yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, fuck, if this is 15 minutes of me. I might have to unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's cool. The, the next couple episodes, the next like two you did, it was just kind of like bringing up some funny shit I did, and uh, you know, no, I, in, thought in the, I thought it was funny. In the end, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can watch like the progression by the end of it. I say, you know, I shit on Carrington, but I like that guy. <laughs> I walked it back. No. I did. I walked it back. Oh, Who did yeah. we not like? Do you remember? I didn't like um uh, what's her uh, Mackenzie. What's her face? Mag- <laughs> uh, Mackenzie, but like yeah, I mean I the fact that they're still together, Mackenzie and what's his face? Connor? Yeah. Connor. Dude, yeah. what do you think of that? <laughs> that shit is um, absurd. Was it really as toxic as it looked? Like I tried to I tried to have them not talk for a sec, you know what I mean? So yeah. like, Oh, I that was one of my favorite moments up. of the show is when you came over. And tried to yeah. save that like conversation Great from happening. Thing. And what did you say? Uh-oh. You were like, "I said, hey, can I borrow him? I have to tell him something important, something ridiculous, <laughs> because I didn't she know did. what to say. Like, what? What am I gonna be? Where are we going? Like, out yeah. across the street to Caesars? Like, we're yeah. not going anywhere. Like, I got no- nothing to fucking tell him. So I did that. It didn't work. 
So I went <laughs> that, back. <laughs> I, dude, that that gave me a specific memory one time of me being high as God and uh, walking up to some dudes that were like parked by my like my homie's car and I was just high as fuck and I was like, and my my boy got to move his car and they're like, the fuck? Who are you? <laughs> like they they wanted to fight me. <laughs> it was just weird, like what the fuck am I doing here? Not even Dude, the same yeah. thing, but the look that, that she gave, the look that she gave you after you said that, and then you were like, "Or we can just do it later." Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, actually, yeah. I'm actually okay. I'll leave you guys to it. <laughs> that look, that look. Yeah, McKen- I It's funny. So Mackenzie's kind of on a similar page to me with kind of how she's seen. I feel like, but uh, sure, sure. She's actually a pretty cool, like pretty cool girl, man, and. The only thing I feel like that that really made her look that way was the relationship with Connor. And I didn't see, like, I wasn't there with them dating throughout the whole fucking time. Like, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. I just saw bits and pieces. Yeah. And towards the end, I just kind of figured, like, they probably shouldn't talk, especially after all the Casa more shit. So, um, but they're working out now. It's I think it just goes to show, like, dating and, and meeting for the first time, dating ass backwards, living with someone, then having to be loyal three days in, but also having to like do your own thing and talk to other people, all that combined stress probably just doesn't make anything work inside of the, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's, that's such a fair way to put it. You know? Yeah. Um, I definitely think <laughs> she's a different kind of person than, than me, but, uh, I think they're perfect <laughs> for each other. And I think they're going to, I think they're going to go the distance, honestly. <laughs> Clearly. Who else Clearly. would they get married to? You know what I'm saying? They're perfect. I mean, for yeah. Each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. Cl- I did clown Connor for having a like a like a. It's a weird. It's a weird roast. But yeah, a tiny ass tongue. It was a disproportionate tongue to his face. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's got, got a, a pretty. Sh- he's got a pretty small head too. Yeah, it's just like he got like a little Shih Tzu face. Like you know, he got. <laughs> he'll he'll see this and then be like, why does he talk like this? He's a fucking asshole. He's not even gonna see that. I'm- he's he's oh nice guy god. though. He's a nice. Yeah, guy. He, I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna leave him. Yeah, alone. he means well. He, uh, yeah, he is honestly like yeah. He's I, I mean, cause for a second he got you know, and he he knows it too. Like for a second he he got walked on. He realized it, and so he kind of backed off from uh, Mackenzie. But yeah, he's honestly one of the. I've never met someone so nice. I was almost like, damn, bro. Like, how are you this nice all the time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, that, that was one thing that blew my fucking mind about him is I'm like, this fool, it's like he just lived in some weird bubble where he's not interacting with the real world and he just has this genuine sort of, he doesn't think anyone has ulterior motive. He takes everyone at face value. He's like a puppy. Almost, yeah. But I, I, I hesitate to say that because I'm not trying to call him an idiot. You know what I mean? I just feel. They're smart puppies. <laughs> Are there? I associate puppies with pissing and shitting themselves. So, oh my yeah. god, yeah, but no, they yeah. love unconditionally. True, I true. agree with you on that, though. I think he's never. I don't think anything bad has ever happened to him. And like, good for him because he's always just been. He, if he stays as genuine his whole life and nice, like, fuck, that's a good guy. If yeah. there's a heaven, he's going to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but not you. You're going straight to it. No, I'm joking. Yes, yes, or worse. Yeah, yeah. So. 